This is a Samba singer. In 2023, he broke the world under 20 hundred meter record, becoming the fastest teenager in history. Today, he's serving a four year ban after consuming an NSF certified product from Gatorade, triggering a massive lawsuit with implications spanning years. But how did this happen? And what does this mean for the sprinting prodigy's future? Welcome to FOS Explains. Today, we're diving into one of the biggest track and field controversies in history. Assam was born in Atlanta, Georgia. He was the son of two Olympic runners and lived in Zambia before going to high school outside of St. Louis. He was a good sprinter. Assam won the 100 and 200 meter state title as a junior in Missouri, but in 2023, he transferred to Montverde Academy in Florida. And there, he went from good to the best young sprinter in the world. By summer 2023, he was considered one of the world's most promising track stars. In April, he defeated the eventual world champion Noah Lyles in a win-aided 100 meter with a time of 9.83 seconds. This wasn't just a good mark for a high school sprinter. At that point of the 2023 season, it was the fastest all conditions time in the world. Just a week later, he ran sub 20 and broke the American high school record for the 200 meter. Then he won the 100 meter crown at the New Balance Nationals in June. It was a crazy year. He was getting national attention, accepted a scholarship to run at Texas A&M, and Gatorade crowned Asinga the 2023 National Track Player of the Year. The company flew Assam and his family out to LA for their national award ceremony on July 11th. At the ceremony, Gatorade surprised him and the other winners with lockers full of free products, including these cherry Gatorade recovery gummies. Asinga ran in his first international meet just a few weeks later. This time, he caught the world's attention. On July 28, he ran a win legal 9.8900 meter at the South American Championships. His time set a new junior world record and made him the first US high school athlete to break the prestigious 10 second barrier. It was officially the fourth fastest time in the world at that point of the year, even amongst the pros. At just 19 years old, Osama Singa had just become a contender for the World Championships and the Paris Olympics. But suddenly, the brightest young star in track found himself in a situation that nobody saw coming. Days after his record-breaking sprint, the Athletic Integrity Unit informed Asinga he failed his drug test from July 18th. He was banned from competing until further investigation. Shook by the news, Asinga fell to his knees, overwhelmed with shock. His test revealed traces of a fat-burning substance, GW1516. The substance, also known as carterine, was initially developed to treat obesity by altering fat metabolism. It's also banned from the U.S. in all forms. The U.S. Anti-Doping Agency warns that athletes should be aware of contamination in supplements. In a Zoom interview, Assam's father, Tommy, cried as he described the devastation over his son's suspension. But Assam claims he never knowingly took carterine. So he filed for an appeal and began fighting back. Part of that process involved testing his supplements for contamination. He sent all the medicine and supplements he took in July to a testing facility. And in October, the facility identified traces of carterine in the recovery gummies Gatorade gave to Asinga. In his case to the AIU, Asinga and his lawyer claimed the positive tests were because of the gummies. In order to prove this, though, and clear his name, the AIU required a singer to provide an unopened bottle of the gummies from the same manufacturing lot as his. But a Gatorade rep told a singer the product was discontinued, so there were no more from that lot. The company was able to send a bottle they had from another lot for testing, though, and that one came back clean. The AIU issued a press release saying that a single quote did not satisfy his burden of proof to establish the Gatorade recovery gummies were the source of the GW1516. The AIU pointed out that the majority of the carterine was on the outside of the gummies, thus insinuating that Asinga and his team could have tampered with them. The AIU stripped Asinga of his titles, his records, and banned him for four years. He wasn't allowed to race at the 2023 World Championship in Budapest, he wasn't able to compete in any NCAA races for Texas A&M, and despite his coach's support, Asinga scared he may even lose his scholarship over this. Asinga was expected to be the key athlete for his dad's home country, Suriname, at the 2024 Paris Olympics. He had the potential to earn millions in sponsorships there. Instead, he was banned from the games and lost an endorsement deal lined up with Nike. In July 2024, Singa filed a lawsuit in the Southern District of New York against Gatorade and its parent company, PepsiCo. And the lawsuit reveals a shocking possibility. Regulations require companies to track and keep unopened samples of each production lot for cases of contamination, ensuring that every lot can be traced and investigated. 
But the lawsuit says that for six months, Gatorade insisted one did not exist from a Singa's lot and tested a bottle from a different lot. This is important because NSF approves supplements on a lot by lot basis. So only lots inspected and cleared by NSF can carry the NSF certified for sport logo that was on Assam's bottle. That logo on a bottle or box is supposed to guarantee that the product does not include any substance banned by the World Anti-Doping Agency. In December 2023, the NSF informed the AIU that Gatorade had never gotten a Singa's lot of the gummies approved, meaning the NSF label on his bottle was misleading. In fact, the lawsuit says that the gummies Gatorade sent in for testing were from the only lot that actually was cleared by NSF as certified for sport. The lawsuit also shares a text exchange between Asinga's mother, Ngozi, and Assam's coach, Gerald Theory. She asks if Assam can eat the gummies. Theory, a former Olympian himself, asks to see the front of the bottle and then says, Gatorade doesn't make products that are against sporting rules. The lawsuit against Gatorade claims that the company denied the existence of sealed gummies from Asinga's lot for six months. When Gatorade eventually found and sent in the appropriate lot for testing, both their unopened bottle and the Singa's bottle tested negative for carterine. The suit alleges that this delay allowed the carterine to break down and vanish from detection. Gatorade provided a statement saying the product in question is completely safe and the claims made are false. Gatorade products are FDA compliant and safe for athlete consumption, which was validated by the findings of the Athletics Integrity Unit investigation. A singer released a statement blaming Gatorade for the losses. His claims were for strict product liability, negligence, negligent marketing, infliction of emotional distress, and deceptive trade practices. He wants to recover millions for his lost endorsement opportunities and emotional damage. While the suit plays out, the Singa's lawyer is also working to gather evidence proving the substance GW1516 was unstable and deteriorated over time. The Singa filed for an appeal on the AIU's decision with the Court of Arbitration for Sports, which is like the Supreme Court of Sports. The case is currently pending, and they're hoping to use that evidence that they're gathering to lift his ban. So who do you think's in the wrong here? Gatorade, Assam, the AIU? Let us know your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe to Front Office Sports.